You know what an intrusion is? Well, not that kind of an intrusion, a geologic intrusion. Stick around and I'll show you how to make an edible simulation of a geologic intrusion with a exploratorium science snack called single serving volcanism. What you're gonna need is single serving cups of gelatin. The lighter the color, the better. You're gonna need a viscous fluid. You can use such things as chocolate sauce that goes on top of ice cream, yogurt, or my favorite, which is pudding. You're also gonna need an injection system, like an oral medication injection device, or you could even include both of them together in a frosting pack. You're gonna need a push pin, a knife with a very sharp tapered point, plenty of napkins, a spoon, paper plate or a bowl to catch your drips, and a pair of goggles. To make your single serving device, you're gonna need a chilled container of gelatin. You're gonna need to pop a hole in the bottom of this because you're gonna inject your pudding into it. To make your hole, you're gonna to have to be careful, but the way I like to do it is I like to start the hole with a push pin as a guide. Don't push the push pin up too far. You don't wanna crack your gelatin. And then you're gonna take a knife or some other tapered device put it in that hole that was started by the push pin, and I very slowly and gently push it into it, and I twirl it around to enlarge that hole. But you need to be careful. Don't enlarge the hole too much. You wanna make your syringe or your viscous injecting device be able to just barely fit into it. And you might wanna check and see how well your syringe fits before you get your pudding into it. Oh, a little bit more. Nice and snug. I'm ready to go. Now that your syringe works, it's time to load up your device with its magma. In my case, I'm gonna use Pudding is my magma, but just in case some pudding gets shot out into my face, I'm going to take some safety precautions. I'm going to put on a pair of goggles. So I'm going to load up my syringe by putting it into the pudding. I'm going to suck it up into the syringe. Insert your magma chamber into the base of your gelatin. Open up the top, and you're ready to begin the intrusive process. So slowly inject your pudding into your gelatin cup, and watch and see what formations come out. Mine is starting to pierce through the surface. So before you begin eating your single serving volcanism cup, you might wanna make some observations. First of all, the syringe at the bottom represented a magma chamber. This could be located tens of kilometers deep. You notice in this one, the magma chamber is empty because the magma or the pudding or the sauce in there was injected into the gelatin and the gelatin represents country rock or the surrounding rock at that location. The surrounding rock could be sedimentary rock, metamorphic rock, or other igneous rock. So injected into this country rock was your magma. You'll notice a bunch of it is underneath the surface inside of the gelatin in the country rock. That's known as igneous intrusive rock. You'll also notice that on the top, some of the pudding or magma came out on the surface. That is known as igneous extrusive rock. That would be equivalent to having a volcano. The great thing about gelatin is you could see through it. Over here, you could see how it cut pretty much up and down inside your gelatin. But if the wad of pudding is large enough, you could refer to it as a pluton. Many of these plutons, when they are put together, form a structure called a batholith. Here in California, there is a batholith called the Sierra Nevadas that's hundreds of miles long. 
made out of a series of plutons. So as you eat it, you might want to also recall some other geologic phenomena that's happening. As you dig your spoon into it to eat it, you are weathering your rock formation down. And to bring it to your mouth, it is being transported. You are eroding your rocks. Pretty good rocks. You'll also notice that you can see various structures as you dig deeper and deeper into your single serving volcanism. It is yummy. The great thing about this device is that in reality, all these features are buried until they are uncovered by weathering and erosion. You can see them as you dig down and you can expose more and more of all the features inside of your single serving volcanism cup. You can do a whole bunch of variations on this activity. You can use different color jellos. You can use different types of viscous fluid to represent your magma. You can shoot multiple injections of your viscous fluid. Or you can use icing or you can use frosting in their injectable packages and see how that turns out. So the great thing about your single serving volcanism snack is that you're simulating phenomenon that involves molten material that might be thousands of degrees, rocks that are super hard, and processes that might take thousands to millions of years. And you get to do it in a few minutes, you get to have fun doing it, and it tastes good too.